Hey, what's up and welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today we are going to be looking at how to make a portrait pop inside of On One Photo Raw. Now, this video was inspired by a man by Glenn Dewis. I have his YouTube video linked in the description box below. So if this is something that you want to check out, see how he was doing it inside of Photoshop, then go ahead and check that in the description box. Now, he uses a technique called the 80-20 rule. Inside of Photoshop, the measurements and the numbers are a little bit different, but we are still going to be able to get a very similar effect inside of Alma Photo Raw. And that's what we are going to do today. Now, this should be done near the end of your workflow. Uh, because it is going to apply sharpening to the image. And you should also do this on photos where the subject is looking directly at the camera or through your lens. If they're not, it may not work out the best way and you'll see why here in a little while. Now, for me, I think this works the best on male portraits. However, you can try this on female portraits and I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and jump over to the effects module. We'll click add filter and we're going to add a sharpening filter. All right. The sharpening filter, we're just going to click on the type and change this to unsharp mask. With unsharp mask, we get three different faders here or sliders. We're going to crank the threshold all the way to zero. All right. And now this is where in his video, he would put the amount and the radius to 80. However, you can see we have halo and we do have an amount slider. Now the default in on one is 150. Uh, you're going to have to play for the play with this for your photo. However, because this is going up on YouTube, I'm going to crank my numbers a little bit higher. But the goal here is to find a place. So if you pull it all the way down to zero, and I guess you should probably start with the halo so you can start to see the impacts that it's having on your image. So I'm going to pull my halo up to four on this particular image. And then I'm going to move the amount up until I start to see the details in his face pop, right? because that's what I'm trying to do is bring more interest and drama to the face. So if you turn this off and turn it back on, you can see that it's quite a bit. Uh, again, I am over processing this for YouTube's compression. So on your image, just find what looks suitable for you. All right. Once that's done, we're going to hit the masking icon click invert and then I'm going to make my brush just slightly large make sure that your flow and opacity are at hundred percent we want to paint this in all the way and I'm just going to paint over his entire face because that is the area that I want this effect to go now this alone looks really good but we're going to take it a step further so we're going to hit add filter again Click on sharpening, select another unsharp mask, pull the threshold down. And this time I want to go about half of what I did on the last one. So I'm going to pull the halo up to two and you can see this is already looking extremely intense. Let's see what we did for the amount on the last one. We did 126. So we're going to go half of about 126 and if my math is correct, it's somewhere in the 60s. So we're going to pull this back until we get. And I think I'm going to go about 80. But typically you want to go about half of what you did on the first adjustment. Now we're going to click on the mask icon again. Invert. And this time we're just going to paint this into very specific areas. So in this image, you are always going to want to paint this into the eyes. If you want to bring more attention to facial hair, then you can go ahead and 
paint this in over the facial hair or maybe if you want to bring it to the bring some attention into a detail that is in the face all right now what you can also do and this was not inside of glenn's video this is just in my own testing is you can actually change the opacity and the flow so that way you're blending this in a little bit more natural but the goal here is to make the eyes and whatever else that you have pop a little bit more than the rest and when i say pop it's really just making it a little bit brighter our eyes go to the things that are naturally brighter in the image so when you click uh, when you turn this off and on if it looks like you turned on the lights in that area then you probably did the right thing all right now let me show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after a lot more detail and interest in the shot overall now if you want to take this one step further i do recommend that you click on blur drag this to the bottom and then we're going to hit the letter m to get our masking bug click on vignette click right in the center and you want to drag the solid line within the confounds or within the face and then drag this out uh, as appropriate now again this is going to look a lot better this effect overall is going to look a lot better on portraits where it's headshots and then maybe some shoulders but the main focus is the face now this is way too much blur so we're just going to pull this back and i'm going to probably pull it down just a good amount right so about there just a subtle blur and it helps pull the attention now i'm gonna because of the youtube compression i'm gonna pull this up just a little bit more so that way it's really uh showing through on that compression but you know and then you can obviously just mask away so i can click over here click on my mask make this a minus and i can mask away from this area if i really really wanted to keep uh, this in focus and i'm not doing the greatest job i'm just trying to demonstrate what can be done and so now i have this image where he is fully in focus he's popping from what he used to be uh, which was this is the before and here is the after now we're going to move over to a photo of a female and i'm going to demonstrate this so you can see that it does work you just have to use it a lot more sparingly than you do with a male portrait so stay tuned all right so here we are with the portrait of a female again looking directly into the camera and this is clearly she's taking up a good portion of the frame so this is the type of photo that you want to apply this to we're going to hit sharpening click on unsharpen mask or unsharp mask pull the threshold down and we're going to pull the halo up all right the halo is going to give us the effect now this is my first pass so somewhere around 3.5 is probably appropriate for her and then I'll pull my mount and for YouTube I'm just going to put it to about 213 so on this image it looks like you need to go a little bit further than it did on our last image I'm going to invert this mask go ahead and paint in all around her face or all inside of her face so that way the effect comes in there and now I'm going to hit add filter sharpening and we'll do another unsharp mask bring the threshold down and we're going to go about half of what I did the last time so I'm gonna go 1.7 and then this time I think I did 213 right all right so 
half of that should be about 105 ish we're just gonna say that's probably not correct but that's what we're gonna say is correct okay so 104 and maybe that is a little too much so I'll even bring down the amount into about 98 yeah I think that'll be good so click the mask hit invert and then we are going to paint this in right over the eyes and with this image you can see there's some artifacting going on and that's where you really want to pay attention to what you're doing in the image uh, you may want to put that over eyebrows uh, and that's where I would use a opacity or a flow adjustment just to make sure that I'm blending it in well and then of course the last touch is the blur bring this blur down and bring this underneath here click on the mask hit the M key for my masking bug I already have the vignette selected and we are going to reposition this over her face and I think this is probably appropriate for her we'll pull this out and here's the finished product of this photo so before it's a little dull flat still a great image and then after it pops a whole lot more and it really draws you in to the image if you found value in this video hit the like button and consider subscribing for more on one tutorials and content to watch more quick edit videos like this click the playlist on the left or click the video on the right to watch what youtube thinks is good for you until next time i want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating peace